So, yeah, I'm at my boat again. I think today I'm gonna take a little bit of break from my engine compartment. And I'm gonna focus on taking more of the interior apart. All that stuff here has to come out for the most part because it's rotted and um, I also want to change the, the way that was all built in. So yeah, this is um, this shit has to come out on rotted wood there. Down there, of course, those are areas where the moisture collects and whatever water leaks from the um, um, old tow rail, tow rail seals or seams. It started eating up all this wood. Um, <coughs> same here. All the way in the corner. Yeah, so I'm gonna take all this stuff out and redo it. That's where my oven used to be. Which is not gonna be an oven anymore. I'm just gonna put some kind of a gas burner top on there, that'll be enough for me. <coughs> and um, Yeah, not much of interior right now, since we're gonna redo the whole thing. Okay, this is gonna be my first area. This thing comes in handy for holding on when you work in the galley. Um, for now, I'm just going to take it off because it's going to be in the way for what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see what else.
Yeah, this is what's all hidden behind um, all this interior. Bulkhead rotted out right there, which that is a problem if that doesn't get fixed. And all, all this wood here completely basically gone. It was nicely hidden under this uh, Formica port. So yeah, on the surface it looks all good, but it ain't. Another bulkhead completely rotted out. A small one, but nevertheless, they're all important. If anything, the bulkheads are bulkheads and chain plates. That's pretty much very crucial areas. This, I don't even know why this thing was there. I guess to store pots and pans in there, nicely hidden away, so they can fucking create more moisture. I didn't expect it to be that bad, but well, there's a reason for why I'm gonna start stripping most of the interior out. It's not gonna be original anymore, it's not gonna look much like the original Alberg 37s looked like. But then again, that was 50 years ago when the boat was, boat was built. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, most interior already took out and it was everywhere the same because of the um, notorious moisture intrusion from the hull to deck seams. It just works itself into all the wooded areas. It doesn't matter if they use marine grade or most likely that wasn't even marine grade wood what they used there. But even so, that salt water just gets in there. Or even just rain water and it does the number. So I'm gonna set the camera down now and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. And then uh, go to the next step. So I got, finally got this, uh, all this rotted wood um, removed and um, cut already rotted pieces out of this bulkhead, which it goes a little bit further down, but I have to do this from um, the other side by climbing into the lazarette, which that's gonna suck. But, so this board here, I got out, it was completely rotted. Most likely from, because water dripping consistently from the hull to the deck seam in there. That problem's of course fixed since I read it all the tow rails. Um, as I showed in previous videos. This bulkhead that was here was basically non-existing anymore. Um, yeah, because of all the moisture. Yeah, it actually went all the way down there where now the um, foam insulation is exposed from the my ice box. And what happened? There was um, it was sandwiched in between two layers of this foam insulation, which I understand. You know, it's, uh, the ice boxes worked excellent because they had so much insulation, but it also trapped in the moisture. And uh, Apparently this wasn't really marine grade plywood or at least, uh, well, definitely not waterproof. So I'm gonna have to completely rebuild this one. This one here, really there's no damage, but it also, also wasn't exposed to all this moisture. I'm still gonna reinforce it, but basically double it up. Um, bulkhead can never be too strong, it can always be too weak. So, and there's gonna be lots of sanding, of course. <clears throat> and I have to re bed it back in with um, new fiberglass layers. But that's just the name of the game. So, let me 
get this light up here. Yeah, lots of crap was hidden behind all those cute little cabinets. I mean, I mean that's just the way it is. That's where all the imperfections are hiding. Okay, and then uh, I took most of this Formica board off. If you have a Formica anywhere in your boat, do yourself a favor. Favor. Uh, get rid of it. It traps moisture. Maybe good for a house, but I don't. Know. I don't think it has any business to be in the boat. Okay, yeah, that's it. Now the next step is rebuilding this whole area here. It never ends. All right. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and here's what's left over from my galley furniture, cabinets and the um, rotted bulkheads. Just where it belongs. Alright, bye for now. Thank you for watching.